My story is I was born in Canamble and we lived in a tin shacks, we lived in a camp, we slept in tents and it was a large camp. My grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins and then I was there till I was five and then we were put on a train. We thought it was just a joyride, we were taken away. My two brothers Barry and Witty went to Kinchilla Boys Home. I was the only one that came through to Newcastle and I arrived here on the 22nd of April 1960. I grew up in the church and I love the church and that's been my healing to be able to have got through that. It wasn't easy, I can say I'm stolen generations and that just takes four seconds but that journey of healing took over 40 years. I saw a quote yesterday, happy people build their inner world, unhappy people blame their outer world. And so I've lived both of those lives. I can be a bridge because I grew up being a white person and then I found all my mob and then I learned Koori ways. The whole earth, we one tribe. And I just love that. If we think about that, we're all one family. We've just come out here, boys, to support you with, um, with what you're doing. We know how tough it is. We actually went through it about two, three years ago, and these boys, like, they whipped the hell out of us. But um, I guess you're at a crossroads right now in your life. You know, being teenagers, you're starting to get faced with all these decisions and important ones that can either set up your future or it can, um, unfortunately, ruin your future. So uh, we've sort of been through all of those. Didn't make the right decision all the time, but majority of the time we did, and that's why I guess we've ended up here today. So um, we've just come here to support you. It's just about sometimes in life, boys, the hard thing is to you know, keep going and keep doing it, but the thing with that is the support that you can get around you by asking on people and leaning on people, or you, know, you can take the, the cheap option and, and go the other way, but in the end, it's not worth it. Sometimes the, the hardest things are um, the ones that work out better in the long run. Massive week for especially a few of the indigenous boys in our team, and it's a significant week for us. And you know, everyone's painting their boots and helped uh, Connor with his um, charity there, and that's a great initiative from the boys. And uh, yeah, today we had a little smoke ceremony here, and you know, most of the crowd here and all the boys here got had a little cleansing, which was awesome. But you know, indigenous, indigenous week is an amazing week to you know show some support to all the ind indigenous community and all the indigenous players.
look at they can touch it here, Newcastle. They are so close. Marty out, Marty. Manly, can they produce a miracle? Here's Daniel Saifidi. Yes. For the win. Yes. And if anyone deserves it, it's Daniel Saifidi. Uh, this week would have uh, meant to us and, um, you know, especially for Connor, our uh, Indigenous boys, you know, we really made a, you know, something for us and play for and um, we want to make, we want to send Connor and all our Indigenous boys happy today and, um, you know, we can see how much it means to them and um, we really dug in today and, and had a go. This is the start and we've got to take, we've got to take away the good things in this footy game and, um, and progress and um, really nail down the next couple of weeks because, you know, it's going to set our season up.